Florida now says healthy kids shouldn't get the COVID-19 vaccine, contradicting the CDC and drawing sharp criticism from doctors, health officials and some parents. Griff Jenkins has more from Washington. The fight over COVID vaccines heating up as case numbers fall. We're now averaging about 42,000 new infections every day in the U.S., the lowest number since July. The progress prompting cities and states to drop vaccine mandates, but Florida is going a step further, recommending healthy children not get the COVID vaccine, a direct contradiction of CDC guidelines. Doctors and health officials say the move could result in another statewide surge, but Governor Ron DeSantis claims he's just following the science. You have this lack of trust in the medical establishment and in the CDC and the politicization of those institutions, and, and that's not going to bode well uh, for us as, as a society going forward. Another COVID battle is brewing further north in Chicago, where officials announced Monday masks will be optional in public schools starting next week, setting up a showdown with the teachers union, which has strongly opposed dropping the mandate, despite similar moves in other big cities like New York, where kids can take off masks in classrooms starting this week. It's a really exciting day and it's I'm glad that it's finally here. It's been two years of being masked and it's a really good feeling. Meanwhile, opposition to those mandates is centering on Washington. The People's Convoy of Truckers is now circling the Beltway for a third day, possibly heading to the Capitol later this week. It's important because we as Americans, we've lost our freedom since the last two years. Convoy leaders are meeting with Republican senators today, demanding an end to the nationwide COVID state of emergency.